Hey everybody, this is my 2018 tiny home. It is built on a dual axle trailer. Um, come on, let's take a look. Lots of as you can see, it's got metal roofing and cedar shingles. Cedar shingles are great for uh, protecting the termites. It's all been stained back in 2018. Here you'll see the window unit. It would not take much to add a, a mini split on the other side. Here's the jack for when you take this home. It's got four uh, jack stands as well. Trailer is a 2008 dual axle. Here is the solar panel that powers the lights on in the house, but the electric plug-in also powers the lights as well. It's just a nice backup. You want to just take a quick look inside here. Here is the RV plug. This is the CPVC to plug into the uh, sewer cleanout or RV park cleanout. Want to take a look in here that is the power bank for the solar as well as that unit up top there comes with some extra stains some cedar siding extras let's take a look inside Steps included as well. Power outlet. Okay, as you enter this 26 foot long, eight foot wide tiny home, right above your head is a storage or child's area to sleep in. You also have another futon and sleeper that folds out flat. Um, lights, all your switches windows on both sides now I chose to have a window unit right here just for um, convenience you can put a mini split in there for at very little cost below it is where the water tanks used to be they've since been capped off so if you wanted to have holding tanks it'd be very easy to just put in the plastic tanks and go from there. Um, it's always been a RV park or um, something that's been on the property, so plumbing underneath the home has been put into the sewers for ease of use and no holding tanks and stinky mess. Um, 50 inch flat screen TV. Um, it's got convenient uh, cord hiders right there. Storage as well right here. There is there is some plumbing underneath it, but there is ample storage. So now we'll take a look at the kitchen. Standard residential uh, cabinets, um, faux granite countertops, ample storage. And what sets this home apart, I feel like, is the the residential size uh, stove and oven. You won't find this in many other tiny homes. Rustic counter or rustic uh, shelving with the piping, chalkboard for Airbnb, Wi-Fi passwords, what have you. Residential sink. And if you look underneath, we've got a Eco Pro water heater. It warms your water in a split second. Now turn around and you'll see the electrical panel and closet, storage, drawers. 
clothing drawers, whatever you want. We even have a little mirror right here. Apartment style uh, microwave, apartment fridge, and now onto the bathroom. This again is another plus because it is uh, residential size as well. I'll let you take a look in here. This has got some of the uh, lighting components as well. Residential toilet and residential shower. Okay, follow me. We're gonna go up to the master bedroom. This ladder hooks on for, this ladder hooks on while you're traveling. Easily lift up and put it onto the bars here. Take a look back and see the plugs. There's even USB ports to charge your phone while you're sleeping.